it's Patrick McNeil, aka Plywood, bringing you another edition of From the Mind of Plywood, where we break down mental health issues, tips and tricks on how to make your mind a little bit easier on yourself, all in my findings and in my style that I learned over the years. I know it's been a while since we made one of these videos before, but I, like everyone else, is, am a human and I have been going through my own things. Now I'm starting to get more on top of them. So I'm going to deliver these mental health videos and other comedy videos that I have on my channel to all you people. So in this edition of From the Mind of Plywood, we're going to look at 11 tips on how you can be a little bit more authentic with yourself and authentic to the world. So let's get to the shallow end, dive headfirst into it, and hopefully not crack our skulls on the way. What is authenticity? Authenticity is the quality of being trustworthy, genuine, or authentic. My version of authenticity is not giving a flying fuck what anyone else thinks about who you are, except for your fucking self. As long as you're not inciting hatred, violence, racism, sexual abuse, and all that other bullshit that tears the world down and victimizes other people, you are doing just fine being yourself. If that quality of you isn't liked by fucking him or her, fuck him. Who cares? It's a part of you. If you really want to change anything, you can change your thinking habits and your thinking patterns so that things like that don't get under your skin and then you don't get offended like they do. People's offense is not your fucking problem. If they want to get offended by something, there's something inside them that they're hiding or it's in their shadow or their subconscious or something like that and they're projecting that on you because you make them feel threatened for some fucking reason. Who knows what it is? And whatever's in their shadow and subconscious and everything else is on them. And that's for another video. The first tip in authenticity is just show up as you. Show up as who you are. Be who you are. You only know what you know. You only do what you do. Making up that one persona to impress fucking, you know, Johnny or Jimmy down the street isn't going to impress them both. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Who is this person, you know? They're either going to like you or they're not, and you shouldn't try to force someone to like you or manipulate someone to like you by having a big giant personality fucking transition. It's not going to happen. You are you until the day that you die. The only things that you can change are your thinking patterns and your habits towards the world and towards things and tasks that you do in your life. So show up 100% as you and just lay it all on the line. Be open. Be communicative. This all takes time, this all takes practice, but you can be 100% your full self and get comfortable with it as long as you keep on trying and get on that path. To just don't jump on any bandwagons. Like, you know, oh, Peggy Sue and the group, they all like this TV show and they all dress like them at school and everything and I just want to fit in so fucking bad and blah, blah, fuck that, dude, seriously. Like, you like what you like and you enjoy what you enjoy. You can't force yourself to like something so that you can impress people and then you're just putting in a lot more effort than you even fucking wanted to try to put in in the first place by liking something that you don't like. Like I said, love and like what you enjoy instead of going down that one-way street of misery town, you know, of having to like look up things and be on top of it even though you fucking don't want to. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to be someone else besides you. You know what I mean? So. Enjoy what you enjoy, and no matter what anybody else thinks or likes about it, then that doesn't matter. What matters is as long as it's making you happy and making you feel as good as it makes you feel. Fuck Peggy Sue and your friends. Three, open up these and close this more when, you know, people are talking about topics that you have little to no understanding about. For example, say your friends start talking about the mating calls of a certain amphibian in the Middle East, and you chime in saying, oh, my girlfriend makes noises like that all the time. Ha ha ha. Like, it's a good joke, 100%. But, like, if you're going to come in and start acting like you know everything, and then people start asking you questions about it, and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you're probably just going to get made fun of, chirped, and not have a very good night. Don't act like you know something just to fit in. Fuck fitting in. Sometimes we got to shut the fuck up, and then we got to listen the fuck up, so maybe we can learn something. Four, communicate your intentions. You should have like a basis of the intentions you want to bring to a new friend, new family member, new date, or whatever like that. Don't go telling your date or someone like, 
I drive a Porsche, and I have stuffed animal orgies every night with supermodels, ha ha ha, when you could barely afford the fucking, you know, bus to get to Starbucks for your date. Just show up as 100% you. Be you, who you are, 100%. It's a lot more attractive to the person, and you don't have to come up with a bunch of lies, and like, still have to like, stay on top of them so that like your story checks out and then they don't catch you among your lies. It's a lot harder to lie and be one other person than to just be your legit self and whether they like it or not is up to them, not you. You should enjoy who you are. If you don't, take a step back and I suggest that you should start working on yourself and figuring out what makes you fucking tick. Don't be in competition with anybody. You're in your own competition with yourself and you know, like, there's no other category besides you. There's no need to get jealous or to feel threatened because of some outside fucking force that you have no control over at all. Like the cat here. He just jumped up here. He's doing his thing. That's his flow. Don't fuck with your Tao and don't fuck with your flow. There's some things that we're going to master and there's some things that we're never going to learn. But letting some outside force get you jealous, feel threatened, feel angry, or whatever like that is, that's on you. That it is in your control. What's out of your control is how it was said or what they said about you. What doesn't matter and what shouldn't matter is that exact same thing. The true thief of your happiness is when you let someone else steal your calmness or your light. Give me all that happiness. Oh yes sir, for sure. I don't want you to, just, just don't hurt me. Just take my happiness. I, I'm gonna feel how I feel about you. But don't let that bullshit happen to you. Number six and seven both have something to do with honesty. So number six is don't lie to save people's feelings. And number seven is just be fucking honest. Going on to number six, like shouldn't lie to save people's feelings at all or so that you don't get hurt or you get threatened or you whatever like whatever they're gonna do is what they are gonna do honesty is the only thing that goes to the grave with you we can't always be honest because that could get us into some trouble we might get hurt but this section of it is just you can unlearn those things like white lies or whatever like that if you just get out of the situations that you're in if you do white lie and you're out of your old situations of where you were abused, you are now carrying something that is a defense mechanism that you don't need anymore. You have to unlearn it. I used to white lie a lot in my old relationships. The reason why was it because I was fe fearing physical, uh, mental, or sexual abuse because I was not, because I wasn't in line like they wanted. Now that I realize that I am me and you either love me forever or not at all, then like that's very hard to conquer. But because I was a pleaser and because I didn't know all this stuff back in that day, I would just take this with like lashings and be like, Sam, I guess this is love. It's not. You shouldn't have to lie and you shouldn't lie to people uh, to get around or to get your way. You should just be honest all the time. And if you're honest with people who are abusive back or threatening back, like I said, go back to the beginning of this video, find one of those hotlines, call it, email it, and start your journey of wellness today. You don't deserve the bullshit that you're getting. You deserve the bullshit that you want in your life. Number eight, represent what you want to represent. Represent yourself as you want to represent yourself, despite what anyone else thinks. If someone doesn't like what you're wearing or how you're representing yourself, it's a reflection on them, and most likely they probably feel threatened by you and the way that you can just represent yourself how you're doing so. Maybe they want to do it like that. Maybe they're afraid of it. Maybe there's some things in their shadow that they're holding on to that they don't want to bring out because they're afraid of their real selves. You're not, so keep representing what you want to represent to make yourself feel whole and more authentic. As long as you're not inciting any hate, violence, racism, or any of that negative bullshit that tears down the human race and makes us divide from each other, then like you're doing just fine. You're not hurting anybody by representing what you want to represent. Number nine, less chatty, more acky, meaning Make your words align with your actions. Like, don't talk a big giant game and then, you know, don't have any actions to back it up because your friends are probably gonna stop texting you as much or they're gonna distance themselves or you're gonna hear a lot of dead air when you're calling them or a lot of, ha, you've reached so-and-so and, you know, leave me a message because I ignored your call type of thing. So, yours truly has some problems with this himself, has had some problems with himself with this subject and still needs to work on it because I'm a human being. I'm a work in progress. I'm not perfect. And like, that's one thing I really like to work on because 
it shows trust. It shows that like, you don't always just talk, you do it. You don't say like, I'm gonna do all this and have a big giant grocery list of things you're gonna do and then you get caught up in your own life and then you're not doing it for that person and they feel ignored. They feel like you're not listening to them anymore. You're not communicating. You gotta communicate, you gotta update, you gotta do certain things when it comes to this stuff. I'm learning all this too. I might give this advice or whatever because I've learned some things, but I have a lot to fucking learn on this journey still. So to try to be more authentic, try to just be, you know, less more less of a talker and more of an actor. So you go out there and you do it instead of saying you're gonna do it. Because I've learned some harsh lessons from some people in the past and even in the present day that when I'm not aligning my actions with my words, that like there's it, it's, it hurts people and you have to like really try to watch that and really try to be on top of that thing. I know none of us are perfect and sometimes we don't, you know, look at all angles and we can't see all angles, but we just do our best. So less chatty, more acky, and you might get a little bit more trust from your friends and family. 10. Just stop complaining. You know, no one likes a complainer, but we all usually have one in like our friend group or at school or at work or wherever the hell we have to go every day. Oh, my seatbelt's too tight. Oh, I don't like ketchup on my popcorn. Oh, I forgot the last few letters of the alphabet. Oh, why won't mommy come home and give me a kiss? You know what I mean? Like, just complaining. It sounds really annoying and disgusting. So, you're not going to like everything in your life. But despite that, there's no use complaining about it because it's not going to make it any better. It's just something that you don't enjoy on your journey or flow of life. So in order to get over that and to stop complaining, maybe just accept the things that you don't really like. Maybe accept that there's a little bit of ketchup on your popcorn. Maybe accept that the seatbelt's tight so you don't fly through the fucking windshield or up your Aunt Judy's asshole. You know what I mean? So just like, take life for what it is. You're not gonna like everything and you're gonna like some things. We're not here to be fucking happy. We're here to be our authentic selves because that's all we fucking have in this world. Number 11, don't cling. Being clingy is very needy and it's a massive turn off to most people. What comes to you really isn't yours. That new friend you made isn't yours. That family member you've had forever is not yours. Hell, the body you even have isn't yours. You return it after it's, after it's done, after the friendship's done, after the family's done. You always return it to where it came from or what it was in the first place, meaning we never own anything that we are given, even these bodies. Did you ask for that debilitating fucking disease? Did you ask for chronic cancer? Did you ask for diabetes? No, it just happened. So when we cling, the more that we think what we owe is given to us, the more that it's going to fuck with our heads. So in this point, we have to accept the things that are given to us, accept that, that we have that debilitating disease now, accept that that friendship is over, accept that that family member has died. It's a long process. I'm not saying it's easy. And I'm not saying that like you can do it overnight, but it's a process that needs to be done in order for us to heal and to move forward and to get to another pinnacle part of our lives. Thank you for watching these 11 tips on how to be more authentically you. Hopefully one of them caught on for your old uh, mental basket to put into your life. I don't know, hopefully so. Um, if you like the video, please share it, and if you like all this content and want more mental health videos and crusty comedy content, hit that like button and subscribe to Plywood Mind. Until the next one, we'll see you later. Through the screen, you'll see me, I'll see you through the screen. And, and so forth. Okay, goodbye.